All right, today uh, we're going to change the rear brakes on a 1994 Honda Accord. So I'll try to keep you involved. My GoPro is in the shop right now getting fixed, so we're going to have to do it on the iPhone. So we'll see how this goes. All right, got the Accord because it's good on gas, and I got to drive to work every day now, and I don't have a company truck. You will need a jack of some kind. You will need a jack stand. I always say you need to put a jack stand somewhere. Um, you're gonna need something to get the lug nuts off with if you're lucky enough to have an air compressor. Um, that's good, if not, you can do it manually. You're gonna need a pair of needle nose or something else. You'll understand that later on. This is how we're gonna screw in the caliper. Okay, so you'll need something to screw that caliper in that maybe you maybe want to wait till you get to that part and go find what you need, but <laughs> these worked perfectly. Socket, maybe a 12 millimeter, um, a 12 millimeter uh, box end wrench would do as well, but a socket with a 12 millimeter. And then obviously you need some brake pads. And if you want to replace your clips, uh, just buy this link that I'll give you. They're the cheapest ones. All right. Well, that's well, one bigger air compressor. <laughs> All right. Air compressor is a full pressure. So you can see how it works with full pressure, but for some reason it. lower pressure it just doesn't using a three-quarter inch socket so you can see where I put the jack here's the issue <laughs> I don't really have a place for a jack stand but, um, really should always always have a jack stand so I'm gonna try to I don't know where I'm gonna put it I guess we will just have to be careful but I'd never recommend uh, working on a vehicle without a jack stand so we'll just have to uh, maybe just prop it up under the side here and just keep an eye on it stay out of the way all right so as you can see we got the tire off now we're gonna get back in here okay we got this one and this one we got to take off to remove this assembly okay you can see my brake pads in there well actually you can't so we'll get those replaced. Bought some new ones off Amazon, pretty cheap. I'll try to link them. Show you a trick with, I mean, obviously this one you can get a, a, a socket wrench into, but this one up here has this brake line right here. So, you know, it kind of makes you want to use one of these, but um, if you put a little extension on, you can get past there. Just be careful, because when it breaks loose, your hand's gonna hit. So probably best to wear a pair of gloves. Uh, I can tell you that from personal experience. So we're just going to get these two bolts out and um, show you what happens next. All right, we got our two bolts out. I'm just going to kind of pop that off of there. There we go. All right, next step we got here. Okay, here we go. The, the back one just kind of peels out of there. You can see the back one still has a pretty good amount of wear. It's not wearing very evenly, I can tell you that. Not sure what that's a sign of. Looks like a, oh, look at that. Look at that right there. That's uh, that's not good. And then, so we brought that out that way. I don't wanna forget this myself. <laughs> not like I do this every day. And then this one just kinda slides out of there you see that okay all right and you can see this one is toast quarterback is toast so there we go now this kit that i got off amazon this wagner kit looks like a good kit that also looks like it has all the new hardware if i want it so just want to so we'll put that in here. Just 
pop them off. You know, I, I did mess with that a little bit just to pop it out of there, but you can kind of see it's just a clip. Okay. And this one, same thing, just a clip. Same exact piece, actually. So, after going through my bag, I actually found one that looks exactly like it. So, they must give you enough for little different cars, you know. So, I need to slip it on there. It does. It pops right in. So, good to go there. And then we got this top piece that's up in here. Hope you can see it. So, it looks like it... it slides in here so this is probably going to be really difficult to get out but there's a piece that goes back in there so we may we may give it a shot all right so you're gonna watch me attempt to do this live so i have a feeling that if i just push it forward enough look at that so what I did was I just just kind of took this piece and pushed it forward and then it, it it's it's long enough to it's got enough space to where it just slid right out of there. Uh, this thing looks universal. We're just gonna slide it right back up in there. And she is in. Alright, on to the next step. Which I don't even think I'm going to. Remember we took this one out of the back side. So we're just going to slide that right back in there. Sure we are, right? Just goes right back in. What could possibly go wrong? It's designed for the car. Oh. Yep, play with it enough. It does slide right back in. If it doesn't slide in, probably doing something wrong. Here's our other piece. Man, look at the difference in these. They told me that there was nothing wrong with the brakes. <laughs> yeah, if you hear anything, take the time to just, man, if you maintain your vehicles, they'll take care of you for a long, long time. I didn't realize that until I got much older, you know, so... Yeah, was not good, so uh, I hope you guys can see that. But these slide right in. I didn't even, you know, I don't know if I got them on video, but they do. They just slide right in there. And this is, you know, how hard could it possibly be? This is just going to go right back on, except for the fact that we have this little caliper in the way. So we have pressure on there. So we got to get that to go back in so we can slide it on top of here. And that's what we're going to do. This is what actually presses your brakes. You see what I'm saying? Pulls those brakes against this, this piece here, this rotor. This is your rotor. So um, now that we have it off, it's, it's out. So we need to push it back. We need to push it back in there so that we can get it on here. So show you how to do that as well all right so this is what the caliper looks like and you can use a mini a thing but realistically we just rotate it clockwise and eventually depending on how thick your new ones are and how bad your old ones are you'll get it to slip on there but you are going to want to make sure that slot lines up with this so with that back one that we already put on you know it's gonna need to slide in there just right okay makes sense makes sense makes sense so like i said i hope you can kind of see what i'm almost there i'm sure they make a tool for this but it seems to be easy enough with a pair of needle nose pliers um get in there so I'm gonna try to line it up with that pin and get this thing on there I think we're there just just I'm 
This brake pad has caused me... Okay. See these? They have a round edge and a flat edge. If the round edge is in the way, it prevents that from sliding back on. Just go ahead, do a visual check. Do a visual check there. Make sure they're lined up. And then that thing should just slip right in there. Uh, should just kind of slip right in there. I'm trying to do it with one hand, but as you can see, it did. So check those if you're having a problem getting this to slip right back in there. Shouldn't be an issue. You know, you just play with it. You know, you can't force it. I got fortunate there, you know. I, I just played with it long enough to get it to slide in there, you know. Look like all my clips are still in. Everything slid back together. Just going to finger tighten some of these bolts in here, hopefully. That's the thing. A lot of this stuff you can't force because if you force it, um, you probably broke it. You know what I mean? We got her on there. And... Um, looks good everything looks pretty level all right any other questions let me know we just got the accord so we're gonna be taking care of it and hopefully it'll get us a hundred thousand two hundred thousand miles ah, i look funny um actually i have one of those things that you can put over your face to keep out the wind um so it's, it's not really hot um, here in beautiful South Carolina, but the wind is blowing and I don't want it in my ears because I don't want to get it cold. But I never say this, like, comment, subscribe, and let the views run. I mean, let the video run. I need the view time. Thank you.